Welcome back. I felt the death of Mikhail Gorbachev this week very personally. As you know, my parents are Hungarian and most of my family still lives there. When I was a kid, I'd go back to visit them and I was acutely aware of the massively greater opportunities I had just because I was lucky enough to be born in the West instead of under communist rule in the Eastern Bloc. Gorbachev understood that too. And in the end, he did more for freedom and progress than most leaders in history. He rose through the brutal Soviet system, then with enormous courage, confronted its cruelty, contradictions and failures. Remember this? Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Well, Gorbachev did tear down that wall. When East Germany, Hungary, Poland pursued their freedom, Gorbachev refused to send in the tanks as previous Soviet leaders had done and the Iron Curtain fell. Gorbachev did something almost unheard of among leaders in any system. He gave up power instead of hoarding it, steadily dismantling the communist system. He was a truly great man. Unlike the current guy, Vladimir Putin is doing everything he can to reverse Gorbachev's legacy. No surprise from someone who said the demise of the Soviet Union was the worst tragedy of the 20th century. Here now to react, Fox News contributor and former director of the Office of Policy Planning and senior advisor to the Secretary of State, Kyron Skinner. Kyron, what's your assessment of Gorbachev then and Russia's leadership now? I love the way you put it. He is a consequential, or he was a consequential figure in the 20th century, and there were few like him. And you're right, in a six-year period, he waged a war for democracy, for the rule of law, both at home and abroad, against all odds, against elites in his country who wanted to keep the old system in place because it worked for them. He allowed multi-party elections. He revealed the, the um, Chernobyl disaster. Um, to the shock of many in the Politburo. He reached out to the West. He met with John Paul II and um, instituted a freer system around faith and conscience. All of these mm -hmm. things happened on his watch, including more. His work with Ronald Reagan was phenomenal. Um, they saved the world from nuclear disaster with the first nuclear disarmament agreement in December 1987 in Washington of the Cold War. It stands as a model for nuclear disarmament today. No one thought it could be done. He defied so many odds. And you're right, Steve. He let power go, which is rare in history. Most leaders are in office to, um, to increase their power. He was... He walked away from the Soviet system. And in fact, he dissolved the general secretary role and became the first president of the Soviet Union. He understood that power was not the purpose. The people mattered. His yes. legacy is still there. I doubt that Vladimir Putin will be able to erase the freedom that he unleashed in the Russian people. And I should point out, Karen, um, you know, for our audience, um, that, you know, Ronald Reagan is one of your, is a real um, expertise for you. You've, is it one book or two books you've written about Reagan? Five. <laughs> Five? Oh, my gosh. Very Eight. bad on my part. So that's fun. So you, so you really know what you're talking about. And, and, and of course, that relationship was so crucial uh, there. What do you think is going to happen? I mean, do you think that the, I mean, I, I, I thought it's very hopeful what you said there, which is that the desire for freedom that Gorbachev sort of enabled, you know, Putin seems to be trying to extinguish that and has this kind of autocratic uh, rule. You think that will outlast uh, Putin and, and they'll get back on track in Russia? I don't think they'll get back on track soon or maybe immediately, but it's still there. And um, I think what, what Mikhail Gorbachev did in um, collaboration with Ronald Reagan, with Margaret Thatcher, with Helmut Kohl, mm -hmm. was to set up a, um, a system of kind of global democracy to expand the zone of democratic states, to make the world know that democracy matters, that freedom matters, that free markets, that um, political representation is the best um, alternative in the world. And we don't have that kind of leadership now, and you've hinted at that. Um, it took all of those. You can say it literally took a village of great power leaders who were committed mm -hmm. to freedom, to change the world, to end the Cold War. Um, even though Vladimir Putin is trying to relitigate those decisions, those policies, the aspirations and vision, 
It's mm -hmm. still within the hearts and minds of people. And I believe that um, Mikhail Gorbachev in the fullness of time will lo um, loom larger in history as a more consequential figure because of his commitments and principles than what Vladimir, Vladimir Putin is doing right now. This is a disaster for the world yes. stage, yes. but in some ways he's unleashed a sideshow um, against um, mm -hmm. what the West is, and he's setting himself apart from the West, which I think is really troubling for people um, in Eastern and Central Europe. That's not what they want. Very well put. Um, thank you, Karen. Great to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.